All smiles, that was great. Yes, it was. It was a nice change. Like racing has its ups and downs, and the highs are high and the lows are low. So Sunday we lost one, and today we won a race. Yeah, that, that is racing. Uh, now, Linus tells me he's been riding this uh, filly in work, and he wasn't at all surprised she's won. No, we all had very high hopes for her and confidence in her. Of course, first time out, things can go wrong, but they we did the homework. Everybody knew exactly everything. Yeah, she's, she's done it well, hasn't she? She was there to be shot at. She kept finding. Yes, we, we I mean, I kind of thought this was going to be my Royal Ascot filly, and then things went wrong, and she had a growth spurt, and now we're where we're at, so we'll go from there. And how did you get her? Where did you get her? She's, uh, she was the first lot in book three. Lamont Racing bought her for me through uh, Linda Sadler. And uh, what the, the day where I thought, this is, she's nice. So. so she's been worth having a bit of patience with. Oh, yes, yes. It always pays off, I think. They always repay you in the long end. Now, I suppose your hand's forced a little bit, winning on debut. So what do you think you might do next? Oh, we'll talk. I'm going to talk to Craig from Lamont Racing. We'll have to really thank for this opportunity. They've been very supportive, as well as all of my other owners, but um, they're all uh, Scotland-based, or Craig McClement is Scotland-based, so we'll see what if we have something for her at air, maybe. And if you thought she was a, a Royal Ascot filly, then maybe you'd be in search of a bit of black type or yes, something. Of course, we're always in search of that, but I'm not going to commit to anything until we see how she comes out of the race. Okay, well, very well done. Really pleased for you. Thank you very much. Thank you.